Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video, we are doing my very first car mukbang at nighttime and we are going to Chipotle. So I already placed my order. We're about to head over to Chipotle to pick it up, but I am very excited to do this at nighttime. I feel like nighttime is such a vibe. So hopefully you guys like this, but let's head over to Chipotle and we will dive in. All right, y'all, so we have secured our Chipotle bag and I'm sorry, but this setup is like everything right now. We even got Mr. with us over here. We got my little Spider-Man cup. I got some chips and queso. So let's get that out. Ooh, that queso is hot, hot, hot. And then I got my burrito. So I actually got the new plant-based chorizo, which I am so excited to try. I've been wanting to try this for a while. So let's get everything out. I don't know if you'll be able to see Mr. back here because actually let me try a few moments later okay i think i got a good thumbnail but let's bite into this burrito Ooh. okay hmm I don't think I got a bite of the chorizo. I honestly probably should have got double meat because hmm. the plant-based chorizo is a very interesting flavor. Okay, well now that you guys got an idea of the vibe, let me know if you guys like this or if it's totally terrible. I can't even tell that I'm in a car. I wonder if I can turn this down if it's better. Hold on. Is that better or is that worse? We can make it brighter or we can make it darker. How's that? I don't know, honestly, I kind of like this. Like, it's a mood, right? Okay, so. Mm. Gosh, once you set the burrito down, it's so hard to pick back up and eat. I gotta tear off all this extra bread because, okay. I should not have gotten a burrito. This is so hard to eat. I was going to bring Mellow into this video, but... It's a little bit hard to do it in the car with him but oh my gosh i have to share with you guys so he is almost six months old and he just started cocking his leg up to pee so every time he tries to pee now he will cock his leg up but he will only do it if there's a plant for him to pee on if there's not a plant around he'll just pee like normal but If he sees a good plant, he will try to cock his leg up. And it's so funny because he is still so tiny and he doesn't have the best balance. So when he's trying to pee on the plant, he literally will fall over onto the plant midstream. And I'm just like, come on, get it together, boy. It is seriously so funny. Okay. What is going on with this burrito? I have not had a burrito from Chipotle in so long. I usually get their bowls, but 
I decided to switch it up for the sake of a video, but it's kind of failing me. Anytime I get food like this, I always get kava now. Let me know if you guys have kava in your town. Kava is so good. They're owned by Zoe's Kitchen, so it's kind of like a Mediterranean version of Chipotle. Oh my gosh. It is seriously so freaking good. I always get a bowl with their like harissa chicken, and it is so spicy and delicious. Mmm. I love it so Ooh, I love it so much. <laughs> okay. Also, I prefer Barbaritas over Chipotle or Salsaritas. Salsaritas has by far the best chips and salsa. Oh my gosh. Because their chips are so thin, and I don't know, I just love their chips so much. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that, but... have to clean my car out tomorrow oh my gosh <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. it is a mess <laughs> but on to other topics though I am really struggling right now you guys <laughs> with my identity. Particularly my fashion sense and my sense of like home decor and just what I like. I don't know what is going on with me, but I just don't even know like what I like anymore or like what I like in my life right now. I feel like, okay, this should be a good bite. I feel like when I buy clothes, because I do most of my shopping online, I just get so stressed out when I shop in stores now. So unless I go thrifting, I still go thrifting, love thrifting. But when I go shopping online and I get the clothes in person, I feel like I try them on and I just do not like the clothes. And I'm like, why did I even order this in the first place? Like, it looks so cute online and then once I get it, it's just not my vibe, not my style at all. And I don't know if it's just because I don't know what I want or like what the case is, but... I feel like I'm going through a lot of changes right now and I'm going just, I don't know how to describe it. Like my life is pivoting. I'm going through this life pivot right now and I just don't know what I want or what I like anymore. Like things that I used to like, I don't like anymore. Styles that I liked in terms of fashion and home decor, I don't like anymore. And I just don't know <laughs> what it is that I like these days. I don't know. It's so bizarre. Let me know if you guys have ever gone through that and kind of how you move past it. Like right now, I'm having to take down all the Christmas decorations in my apartment and I have a lot of holes to fill, which even before I put up the Christmas decorations, my apartment was not finished yet and there was still a lot that I needed to do. And I have got to really figure out like 
what furniture I want to buy and I cannot decide every single piece of furniture that I see I just question like is that me does that reflect who I am once it comes will I like it there's nothing worse than buying furniture online and it coming in the mail and you don't like it so I just don't know. I don't know what I like and what I want. I just am struggling. <laughs> okay. I don't know that I would get a burrito from Chipotle again. I do wish if I... Okay. We're going to try this plant-based chorizo just on a chip to see what it tastes like. The plant-based chorizo definitely has a kick to it. That's kind of what I'm getting. I think that's what the spicy is coming from. I thought it was coming from the sauce that I got because I got kind of a spicy salsa, but... The chorizo definitely has a kick to it, for sure. Where are all my chips? They didn't give me hardly any chips. That's what I really want, because... This burrito is not really hitting. No, it's kind of hard to eat in here. I have bought so many of these cups. I have another cup coming. I bought it from Etsy. <laughs> and it's actually like a Starbucks cup because I actually don't have any Starbucks cups. And they're pretty cute. I always see people with them. And they're honestly adorable, but I've just never thought to get one. I think this girl like makes them herself. But yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff because I want to create a space in my apartment that I can do mukbangs at. And I want to put... All the stuff behind me that I love so I don't have to keep doing mukbangs in my kitchen I mean I like doing mukbangs in my kitchen but the lighting is just no bueno hmm. We're actually in my apartment parking lot right now I didn't want to do this in the Chipotle parking lot because I literally have a giant ring light in my car and I was like, you can totally see the ring light from the outside and Chipotle is going to be pretty bumping because it's Saturday night and I was like, yeah, people are definitely going to see me in my car and they're going to think I'm a weirdo. So... I feel much safer doing this in my apartment parking lot. Hmm. Hmm. We tore this bag of chips up. There's like nothing left in there. I just have all these crumbs. They did not give me enough chips. I always look up food reviews whenever I go to places. Like before I do my videos. If I can. If I'm at work, I can't be as picky with where I go. Because I just have to go like what's near my job. But if it's the weekend and I can kind of pick and choose where I want to go. I will try and go on Google and look up reviews of places to see like what has the best reviews and people oh we have two missing chips here they be telling it like it is in those reviews like they go in on these three places they do not hold back oh this is a good bite mm-hmm
But anyways, I think that's it. I am totally full. I had a pretty big lunch as well earlier, so I'm going to clean up my mess really quick, and then we will do shout outs, and then we will finish off this video. Okay, we are all cleaned up. Again, let me know if you guys liked this nighttime car mukbang, and if you do, I will definitely do more, and for those of you who did not like it, I am so sorry, <laughs> but today's shout, or I guess I should say tonight, tonight's shout outs goes out to Harshita. They said, I can never ignore a daisy notification. Love your video so much. Thank you. Can I get a shout out in your video? Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Second shout out goes out to G and they said, love all your videos. Please can I get a shout out in your next video? God bless. Love you. And please do more story time videos. Thank you so much. I have more story times to come. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.